the name of the product, uh, actually, I should say there's three names of the product. I'll start with the manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah. The manufacturer is called Black Mountain USA, and they've been making wool insulation in Ireland for a long time. And now in the United States, they've just started manufacturing it in Pennsylvania. The, uh, the wool insulation uh, has great many benefits. Um, not only will it last the entire lifetime of the structure that you install it in, uh, it also absorbs and releases moisture really well. As you know, wool is good for moisture. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've ever worn wool socks in the winter time and uh, maybe gotten water done, definitely or something like that. That that is uh, sim similar to what this can do, and, uh, and, and it'll, it'll perform as it has moisture or wetness on it. It'll perform just as well. Um, it meets all of the the ratings uh, that is required and uh, for, for fire and, uh, and and everything else. Um, the uh, what about the R factor? The R factor. Uh, the rolls come in R13 and R19, mm -hmm. and the uh, bats come in R13, R19, R21. Uh, the bats are four feet, and you can get those uh, in 16 inch width or 24 inch width. It's the same with uh, the rolls; they're, they're 16 inch or 24 inch width. Um, another nice thing about this is you can touch it. You know, you don't have to wear gloves. Mm. You don't have to wear a mask. Uh, you don't have to wear uh, eye protection. This is uh, very natural. Uh, all it is is wool. Okay and uh, uh, a mix of boron uh, for pest resistance. And, uh, and this, um, this product uh, is kind of like a sweater. You know, if you're putting on a sweater, uh, you feel warm. Well, if you put it in your house, it's like wrapping your house in a big sweater. Does it come blown in? No, it's not blown in. Um, it, it is, uh, like I was saying, the, the, the rolls or the bats. And uh, they also do make a product that's called uh, the Weeki Insulation Panels, W-E-K-A Insulation Panels. Mm -hmm. um, this, essentially what it's, uh, is, is the wool insulation roll. Uh, it's compressed and then uh, yeah, yeah, there yeah, is yeah. fine well, plaster put on both sides of it, just make a panel out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what this is um, good for is if you have a hard surface that you need to insulate um, a brick uh, or some type of masonry wall that you need to insulate. Uh, this this can actually go right over that wall, and you can and have a plaster wall with this product. And uh, and you can like layer in a basement or something. You can layer it so yeah. you get more R value yeah. out of it. One sheet is an R6 value. And cost wise, do you know the only thing about that? Uh, cost wise. Um, Generally, it is going to be a little more expensive than if you're going to purchase the fiberglass in the mm -hmm. store. Uh, but this product, uh, like I was saying, will last you the lifetime of the structure. Uh, a lot of those insulations now uh, do deteriorate. The components of it do, te do deteriorate over time. Uh, I never knew that. Like yeah, my blown-in well, cellulose? Not, not the blown-in, but the uh, if you've ever had... Uh, a fiberglass insulation that um, has a backing on it. Mm -hmm. uh, that backing can deteriorate, and uh, and then the the, the 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 component that holds the fiberglass together can deteriorate. So if, I, I've actually done remodel jobs where I've opened up the walls, and you can see just bits and pieces left of you know the insulation mm -hmm. that was there. It started to, uh, they put it in there 30 or 40 years ago, and, and uh, there's not. A whole lot left of it, except for the fiberglass itself. But it's it's not being held together very well. But this this product uh, may end up saving you money over time because it does last a long time. If they call in, what would they ask for to see this product? Uh, sheep's wool insulation. Sheep's wool insulation. Yeah, and uh, they call it sheep wool ins roll or sheep bat insulation. Okay.